Welcome to part 5 of the safe sci-fi let's play of Star Trek Legacy. I'm not exactly sure what I'm in for in this battle, but I've got three of the big battleships and the NX-01 with me, so let's see how this goes. That's the one, the Yorktown. And the NX-01 Enterprise. Minutemen. Okay. Predator. Yeah. Captain, we're receiving a message from Starfleet on the command frequency. On audio. Jonathan, we have a serious problem. Whatever hornet's nest you stirred up out there has really set things off. The Romulans have begun a big push into strategic sectors. We think they're headed for Earth. Earth? The toxin. They want to use it on Earth. Reg, we were able to find their production facilities for that poison and shut it down, but one of their ships got away, carrying a large quantity of this stuff. We have to find that ship and destroy it. They'll be entering the Tyburn sector soon, but we've managed to intercept some elements of their fleet in Orsini. I'm not sure how long we can hold them there. How many ships? Their cloaking technology makes it difficult to ascertain their strength. But our latest ship count is at least 30 vessels. We can't make sense of it. No matter how many we seem to destroy, more ships decloak to take their place. Jonathan, if they aren't stopped in Tyburn, there's nothing left between their ships and our solar system. All the elements of the Starfleet are here. We've already changed course. Hold tight, Rick. We'll be there soon. Run, the Linux, run! Oh, okay. And they magically appear, because, you know... Enterprise, we're taking a severe ring, ring. beating here. I have a plan, but we'll need to buy some time. Can you get them off our backs? I'll buy you as much as I can, but eventually they're going to overrun the system. Their numbers are just too great. Trust me, Jonathan. The way I'll owe you one. This will they make don't three stand by a my chance count. in hell. Archer to fleet. Our priority is to reinforce the Starfleet ships already fighting in the system. Enterprise out. Okay. Enterprise on station. Boys, let's drop out of FTL right about. Whoa, there. Proceeding to war. Here we come. Romulus. Yeehaw. Target shields down. Proceeding to war. Target destroyed. Target shields down. Oh, that does it. Oh. Rocket and target destroyed. No one will be able to stop by coming in, boys. There's this one solitary ship up against a fleet of Yorktown. You don't get a chance. We may not be able to hold them off much longer, Reg. Nearly there, John. Just a little more time. One sec. Moving into attack position. Good. We're facing steep odds here. 
The orbital facility here was designed to aid Vulcan mining camps on this planet by using a cutting beam to penetrate the surface and expose dilithium deposits. We powered it back up and realigned its orbit to fire the beam into space. It should allow us to defend ourselves against the Romulan vanguard. And the rest of the Romulan fleet? This is the part of the plan that's truly inspired. If you scan the area, you'll see four sensor platforms the Balkans deployed here years ago. We've managed to bring them online remotely and reprogram their command functions. They're powered by an early form of nuclear fusion. But if we can detonate them in proximity to the Romulan ships, they'll create an electromagnetic pulse that should disable their systems. A nuclear blast? It's so simple it might actually work. I doubt their shields were designed to keep out the full electromagnetic range. That's what we're thinking. We're configuring them now to respond to a coded hailing frequency, which will trigger detonation. Understood. Yeah. Now we'll just have to lure them in. Shouldn't be too hard. When they see you, they'll try to destroy you. Guaranteed. Good luck. Thanks. We'll need it. Enterprise out. Thanks for that. The whole... Objective you go out there and kamikaze yourself up against them plan. Okay, let's warp to this one first. Adams, standing by. Wilson, standing by. Proceeding to warp. Captain, sensors report enemy vessel. Enterprise on station. Heading set. Hey, boys. We're here. Proceeding to warp. Proceeding to warp. Moving into attack position. Warping to your coordinates. Heading set. Enemy vessel detected. Setting course. Stop, stop. Is this here? That's a blaster. Sir, we're dropping out of warp. Romulan spotted. Course set, Captain. Moving into attack position. Disabled some Romulan vessels at this sensor platform. Moving into attack position. Washington standing by. Adams standing by. Wilson standing by. Target shield down. You would stand against us? You would fight your doom.
Romulan vessel destroyed. Ships. Enterprise on station. Captain, sensors report enemy vessel. Warping to your coordinates. Adams, standing by. Destination set. Engage engines. Diverting energy. It worked. We've disabled some Romulan vessels Ooh, yeah. on this sensor platform. Reg, three Romulan ships have decloaked near the blast. The EMP must have knocked out their cloak, but their shields are still intact. Their energy signature is through the roof. The Romulans must have distributed the remaining toxin among these three ships. Are you reading this? We see them, Jonathan. The science officer on the station believes that the three ships carrying the toxin are using shield generators designed for deployment on an outpost. Oh, but that's not possible. The power requirements would be... I know, but the bottom line is nothing you have out there will penetrate those shields. What options do we have? We think the cutting beam on the station may be enough to break through their shields. Then do it, Reggie. Unfortunately, the beam leaches all primary energy stores. After each discharge, it takes some time to get the capacitors up to full power again for another shot. You'll have to keep those ships within the limited range of the facility in order for this to work. To do that, you're going to have to engage them and hit them in their weak area, their engines. You won't be able to destroy them, but if you concentrate enough fire on the engines, you may be able to slow them down. Just give us enough time to take our shots, and we'll do the rest. We'll do our best. To all ships, to achieve the proper firing solution, fire from aft of the Romulan transports. Target the engines and hope for the best. Archer out. We've achieved our objective. Washington, standing by. Enterprise on station. Phasers ready, Captain. All not away. Washington, standing by. Wilson, standing by. Enterprise on station. Romulan ships approaching, Captain. On our way. Hailing frequency over. Washington, standing by. Wilson, standing by. It worked. We've disabled some Romulan vessels at this sensor platform. It worked. We've just moderate damage to their engines. That's one ship dead in space. It won't take them long to repair, but we've stopped them for the moment. Engage. gauge. Adams, standing by. Moderate damage to their engines. That's one ship dead in space. It won't take them long to repair, but we've stopped them for the moment. One of the Romulan vessels has managed to bring their engines back online. They're on the move. Moderate damage to their engines. That's one ship dead in space. It won't take them long to repair, but we've stopped them for the moment. Just don't 
pretty good. Moderate yeah. damage to their engines. That's one ship dead in space. It won't take them long to repair, but we've stopped them for the moment. Repair what? It's in pieces. Captain's personal log supplemental. The Tyburn system has been contaminated with the bio agent. That sucks. However, we managed to prevent the Romulans from using their weapon on Earth. And stop I love their advanced deeper into our space. Brutal. We'll have to move quickly to synthesize a counter agent from the sample we collected, but at least we can do something to help the people in this system. I don't know exactly how or why the Romulans would try such a desperate move, but I have a feeling that Commander Terrell is involved in this incident. And for my part, I want the Vulcans to answer some questions about what this Terrell was really Literally. doing out here and why Not they wanted looking her back too so bad. A couple of little glowy I bits. Starfleet has heard the last of her. And I want us to be prepared for our next encounter. Yeah, let's go and repair somewhere, shall we? Alright, well, that's the end of that part of the Let's Play. I've made it through to the end of that. Um, I shall catch you in the next one, I guess. So, so long and have fun. <laughs>